Welcome to another beautiful day of van building. So we started the ceiling yesterday. It didn't look like this. We had the three strips. Let me move up, up inside the van so you can see. We had the three strips here in front of the Max Air Fan because Emerson says that you always have to start in the middle and then you work to your sides out so that everything's, so you have this equal amount of cuts on both sides. Um, so we started here and we had put s screws in here, uh, somewhere in here, and really pressed it up because the van, you know, it curves, and so we really pressed it up. Well, we had a bunch of stress uh, fractures or stress marks in the screws there, and so we couldn't, uh, he couldn't sleep all night long. He was tossing and turning, he hated it. So this morning, he came out and tore it all down. So putting it together, making the cuts and fitting it together were, what, a quarter of the way done now? So, but it's looking good. Is the tape measure up there? Uh, no. Is it in your pocket? Huh? Is it in your pocket? I got it now. Do you want to say anything? Good morning. <laughs> all right, so we just need to cut the measure from the fan back to this seam get across and then we have that next light strip and then we'll be on our way hopefully hopefully we won't have any more issues there's one thing I've learned from building a van for the first time is that you're gonna do things several times the same thing several times so we are finishing up our last piece of the ceiling last three pieces last three pieces of the ceiling liking that. Why? Because <laughs> I think we got to cut. Yeah, we're going to cut this off. Oh, that's all that's we are sh sh trimming off? That's not a lot. I said four and a half, right? Four and a half and three. And then this this one, one flips it round, right? Yeah, so it's going to be I think we're closing this day out. We got, um, what did we work? Oh, we worked on the ceiling and then we finished the day off. You can see the ceiling in there. We do have some touch up to do, but we'll get that at a later date. We did also work on some of the framing. As you can see, there's more additions here. I think that's it. Anything else? 
Well, it started out as a crazy, like frustrating day, right? And oh, yeah. then uh, I think it ended pretty well. We're yeah. both in good moods. I was pretty pissed off this morning. <laughs> Yep, but yeah, happy to see the ceiling get in, the lighting, the puck lights are in, and wired. Um, things are moving along. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning! Say good morning. Morning. Doing the electrical. So what we did was we had pre-ran all of our conduits and... Uh, just today we started setting all of our boxes and where we wanted 110 and 12 volt. Now we're landing the conduits in the boxes so we could prepare for insulation and the wall siding. All so today, right? We're hoping, <laughs> we're ambitious today. And it's what time? Like noon? Yeah. I had to make a run though to Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah. So show them, show them around. Oh, yeah, because you've got a lot done that we haven't shown. So. Oh, we have abandoned the idea of, whoa, whoa. We have abandoned the idea of putting in the lift up boxes, the hidden storage areas. We're just gonna go ahead and shiplap the window and, or shiplap the, around the window and all of that. And then if we want to, we'll cut in like cubby holes or boxes later if we decide that we need that space. So we are gonna go ahead and just panel all the way through. He did put in our kitchen area. This is where our refrigerator's gonna go. We're gonna do a big drawer under there. We can store like pots or whatever. And then our sink will go here and our faucet and our water filter will go there. And I'll have some drawers in here and then obviously the under counter space. We did decide to put a box in here to make sure that we can have access to power if we're outside or whatever. And then we have a box up here. So remember we're doing a small little like fake shelf or fake cupboard here to store all of our, our panel stuff. So we do have a box up here for electrical. And then we have a box here because this is where my backsplash is gonna go and I didn't want a box in the middle of my back, black back splash. So we're putting the box here and then my backsplash will be here and I'll be able to plug in the blender or whatever that I need to plug in just outside there. Yeah, we do have a box there. We're gonna put a hole on the side of the bench so that we can access and charge if we're on the bench or access and charge if we're sitting in the, in the chairs. So I think that's it, right? Sounds like it. Now, what are you doing? This is the same circuit, these two. Uh -huh. So, one conduit comes from the power, and then the other conduit just loops overhead and then over to this box. Oh, uh, yeah, but what are you, yeah, so are there's you like two conduits going into this box because one comes from power solar system and then the other one goes over to here uh, okay but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that thing silver thing is in, in your hand this is the lock nut and then this is the threaded um, three-quarter inch bushing that you put on this conduit put it into the box and then the lock nut locks it into the box so it doesn't go anywhere oh I thought you just shoved it up in the hole We're back to our old antic. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna ruin this That's the floor. floor. All right, you guys, we are at the stage of sheep's wool. What is it? Uh, insulation. Insulation. We're at the stage of, stage of insulation. We're gonna start filling all these cavities. We got the sheep's wool down there. And, and what did you say when you opened it up? smells like animal. It literally does. This sheep's wool, if you smell it, it smells like an animal. Which, you know, I guess it's supposed to, right? Like a sheep? I think it smells like sheep. Watch. Yeah, smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells like a barnyard. <laughs> it really does. Does it go away? It's gonna be in the walls. I don't want our van to smell like a barnyard. <laughs> We shall see you.
Well, here's to another end of a long day. We got a lot, well, I feel like we got a lot done. Yeah. Spin. So we got all of the Reflectix on this side up. Well, it's kind of half up. It's like, it's we're putting it up as we go when we start, when we put up the uh, ship lap. Ship lap. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so ship lap all the back, cut around our boxes, cut around our windows and around our electrical lines. These, the conduits up top that they see sticking, that you guys see sticking out is a uh, conduit going into the bottom section, the void of the above cabinets, overhead cabinets. So that way we could feed under cabinet lighting with those conduits. So you and won't in see- And in cabinet. And in cabinet, yeah. You won't see anything once it's in. So, cause it, it's lined right up with where the bottom of the cabinet's gonna go. Yeah. Yep. My backer board is up for my tile. And I guess that's all we did, but it seems like we did more, huh? Yeah, it, it felt took like a long oh, time. The, all the all the insulation behind everything that's covered right oh, now. Oh yeah. yeah, our barnyard. Yeah, I think I think we told them before, but the uh, the uh, sheep's wool actually smells like you're smelling a sheep when you smell it. Well, <laughs> but it it's smells in, like a barnyard. Like, yeah, it's yeah. encased in the in the walls though. I I don't smell it now. I only smelled it when I put it next to my face. Yeah. But they say, Havelock Wool says that uh, you do not need any Reflectix with their sheep's wool, but we're doing it anyways. It's also fiberglass free, so it's nice to work with. It was soft. It was yeah. really soft. It was nice. Yeah. Do you want to come up and explain this debacle? Not really. Come explain it. <laughs> so if you're in a transit van 2015, I believe, and above, you're going to have this section here. All these transits have the wiring that comes through and you can either just hide it through your with your form boards or you could actually pull it all the way back and refish it through all the uh, steel structure of the van. But what happens here is we have a weird concave going on with the window area and then a pop out or a pop in, whichever way you're looking at it, uh, with the upper above structure. So it's it's like it's like uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to come up with some sort of way to get the uh, the um, ship lap. Ship, shut up <laughs> the ship lap to flow flow, flow nice. So we kind of came up with a uh, actually Sarah came up with it. We curved some wood to try to try to give it a nice little contour and then flow right into that reverse angle. You're so yeah. so we gave this piece a, a contour so it has a nice flow. And then hopefully it will flow right into that reverse angle. You can see that it's pushed in there and pulled out here. So we had to do the reverse with the wood so we could attach our shiplap and uh, hopefully- Because where do we want our shiplap to go to where? To end where? Yeah, we, we want it to end in this area covering, you know, this airbag and all that stuff because we're actually gonna build a cabinet up here for more storage, but we'd like it to end this way instead of it ending the way the van is ending or, or shaped, so. If you have a 2015 or above, just be, be prepared for that because it's a kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So I think it's shower time. Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow is Friday, Saturday. We're doing electrical. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll be pulling the electrical in. Uh, all the 14-2. Uh, it's like house wiring. And then Saturday, I think we're going to finish up the walls with all the shiplap and... and uh, we finish, have to do, yeah. finish doing this. Finish the countertop. Maybe we start have, on the cabinet. Yeah, we can start on the cabinets. We have the refrigerator framed out. We just need to finish framing out the sides and the bottom so it has somewhere to set. We're gonna put a big like pot drawer, pots and pans drawer down below for big items. And then we're going to split this area up into mini drawers. I, well, they're not mini, they're actually they're almost, they're like 10 inches, 10 to 12 inches, but there'll be four or five of them going all the way down for utensils and all that stuff. And then this last part of the sink is going to be, or this last part of the countertop is going to be designated for the sink. And below the sink is going to be a trash can, things like that. So that's coming along. And then right behind Sarah is where we're going to put a linen closet uh, with a upper. You see that there's an electrical outlet there. That's just in case we want to charge drone batteries or, or laptop laptops or whatever. We could stick it in the cabinet, lock it away. But it's going to be a full length cabinet floor to ceiling. The top part is going to be for hanging clothes. And then your bottom part is just going to have drawers for probably clothes or whatever, right? Yeah. And then a or side... Or a pantry because we'll need pantry food storage, right? Yeah, pantry. That's a good idea. Probably pantry in there. And then... Uh, 
the bench. So we, we don't have much framing left to do. Mm -mm. Cupboards. Yeah. But that's the, it, cupboards. the cupboards would be simple. Simple once the walls are up, it's like you're you're like shaping the walls and the ceiling to the contour of the van, and it just it's nerve wracking and with all the cuts too of the yeah. boxes and the windows and the yep, it's just a the weird shape of the van, weird shapes. It's frustrating. There's a lot of cuss words, kind of a pain in the ass, but um, worth it when it's done. So. But anyways, I think that's it, guys. We will see you guys for some electrical. And then on Saturday, we'll be finishing up the walls. So take it easy. Peace. Oh, no. Do that again. Why? Because you only got half of it. Oh. Your hand did not cover the thing. <laughs> so take it easy. Peace. Peace.